Hello from Disney's Hollywood Studios. So it's been a little bit since I've been to Hollywood Studios at night. It's around six o'clock right now and the park closes at nine o'clock. So I have around two to three hours to head inside and grab some dinner, maybe some dessert. I've been to all the other Disney parks recently. So I thought I'd come to Hollywood Studios and give it a little love and attention. Let's head inside. I started the video at the very end of the ticket booths here. And right around the corner is going to be the entrance to Hollywood Studios, which hopefully it's not too busy today. It doesn't seem like it. So I don't know if I want to do this first or grab some dinner somewhere. Maybe, but I'd like to do Mickey and Minnie's or Runaway Railway because it's been a bit since I've just gotten in the regular standby line for that. So I might just head in that direction and just see what it looks like. I'm pretty determined to have dinner at a place that I haven't eaten at in a while. I am leaning towards the ABC commissary. My first choice actually to have dinner would have been Pizza Rizzo, but that is closed. That's one of those restaurants that's only open in the middle of the day for lunch. There are a few of those at Disney, so it just depends on the time that you get to the park in the particular place that you want to go to for what meal of the day. Okay, I'm heading up the stairs where the sorcerer's hat used to be back in the day. Just to see what the wait time is for Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. It looks like it's a 45 minute wait. That's not terrible, but I want to go to the ABC commissary. I think that closes a little bit earlier too, so I might head over there just to get some food. I'm pretty positive that the launch bay just recently reopened with characters over there, or if it hasn't, it might soon, so I'm gonna check it out in a little bit. It took the lines extending outside a little bit, so uh, might come back a little bit later. Okay, so I actually looked at the app and the characters are not back at Launch Bay quite yet, but Disney, I guess, allegedly did announce that the characters will be coming back with meet and greet areas. Seems like right now the only legitimate meet and greet opportunity is going to be Mickey and Minnie Mouse over at Red Carpet Dreams. That is pretty much right across from the ABC commissary here, all the way down to the end of this little lane. I guess it's more across from the uh, the drive-in. Okay, so I walked past the AMC down to the Sci-Fi Dine-In restaurant here, which right across from this, like I said, is the Red Carpet Dreams, and it is a one-hour wait right now to meet Mickey and Minnie. All right, so now I'm backtracking to the ABC Commissary to get some dinner. This place closes in about an hour. So I'm pretty sure that they have more on the menu than what they have posted outside. But here are a few of the options that they have. I'm thinking about those pork and eggs tacos. Maybe the buffalo chicken sandwich? I am not sure. It all looks pretty good. It's actually pretty cool inside, at least the lobby to walk up to the registers. Over there they have some props and paraphernalia from ABC shows. And I put in a mobile order, so it should be ready hopefully in a couple minutes. So the ABC comes here, has two different sides. This side is currently closed right now because the restaurant is going to be closing in about an hour. So I'm going to be sitting on the other side, right over here once I eventually get my food. All right, so I got a spot over by the window, which is pretty pleasant. And I actually ended up getting an entree that was not on the menu outside. These are the shrimp tacos, which are sauteed shrimp on flour tortillas, topped with cabbage spawn, chipotle mayonnaise, and mango salsa served with Mexican rice and black beans topped with queso fresco. And then this is a beverage that is probably going to make Brennan pretty jealous because it includes tequila, which is truly not a beverage um, that I get, but this is the watermelon margarita, which is Patron Silver Tequila, watermelon, sweet and sour, and lime juice, which I thought it would just be a fun beverage to have. And I'm gonna be here for a few hours, so I thought, you know what, why not? Okay, so I sat down by the window, way over there. This is the section of the restaurant that's actually open right now, and I am heading back right into the park, and I know exactly where I'm heading next. And that is going to be Walt Disney Presents, because it's been a little bit since I've gotten to explore in there. If there are any new, I don't know, exhibits on display, I'm gonna go check it out, and it closes in about half an hour. Walt Disney Presents is, of course, formerly One Man's Dream, which is on the other side of the Chinese theater, and I'm... I'm excited to go check it out. It's been a bit. The outdoor queue for Runaway Railway has drastically reduced here. It's pretty much just condensed to that area right over there. So I will definitely do this later on tonight without a doubt. After doing Walt Disney Presents, which is right there, I think I'm going to head back over to Launch Bay to see if I can go inside that. You can also meet Sully here, but I'm pretty sure that his um, experience is concluded for the day earlier. When I got here, pretty much the only characters that we're meeting were Mickey and Minnie Mouse, but there are other characters that you can meet at Hollywood Studios, which is great. This first room addresses how Marceline, Missouri had a major impact on the Disney parks, because Walt Disney grew up in Marceline a little bit. And then this room showcases the drawing of Mickey Mouse. I don't know if this is Walt himself drawing Mickey Mouse or one of his animators. This is pretty cool to get to see this. And then this room just sort of showcases his original animation inspirations and efforts it seems. And then right here is of course the multi-plane camera here technology with multiple levels that simulate the immersion of depth which a lot of early Disney films would 
utilize this technology a few milestones of animation for Walt Disney in particular and then his eventual movement probably into live action and then of course his transition into theme park entertainment and immersion with the conception and construction of Disneyland and then all other massive theme park milestones that have been reached ever since with the culmination of technology and entertainment that we know and appreciate today. And over here there are a ton of really cool theme park models and in this area used to be a while ago the Toy Story Land concept art and then they also had the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge concept art over here and now it's the Disney Wish concept model which now having been on a cruise ship this is much more interesting to me to look at this and, and compare it to aspects of a cruise that I've been on. That looks really, really cool. I know a lot of people have their wish cruises booked. I do not, unfortunately, but perhaps one day. This area is just really cool, so this is definitely new to me, without a doubt. Just all that they have here on display. And then over here as well, on this wall. Okay, now it's time to head back out into the park because I think that they're closing up and probably want everybody to go ahead and leave so they can close up the building. But that was cool. I haven't been here in a long time. I guess I was in there for a little while because it is almost dark now. I'm going to go ahead and head over to the animation courtyard just to see what I can see of Launch Bay just because I don't even know the last time that I went inside Launch Bay. I know that there are no characters or exhibits or theater shows, but we'll see. Voyage of the Little Mermaid is still sort of an unsure situation over here whether or not it's going to reopen at some points. Disney hasn't made any announcements one way or another. The sign is up there, so they might bring it back, but also they might not. So I can already tell from here that Launch Bay is not open. There's a chain up way over there at the entrance, and I checked the app and I can't find any information on the app, so I'm presuming that it's just unavailable, but I'm pretty sure that it's going to be reopening at some points. I think Disney announced that. This entire area beyond the animation arches, which used to be the animation studios section of Disney's Hollywood Studios, formerly Disney MGM Studios, this could really be utilized in such an incredible way if they just made this an immersive new land. I know that the old animation offices are still back there, so that's a lot to deal with. But Launch Bay is sort of defunct and irrelevant now that Galaxy's Edge is open. Voyage of the Little Mermaid, it's a very old show. It's a cool show, but they could really use this area. Even the Disney Junior... What is this? The Disney Junior Dance Party over here? Like, this is pretty valuable space that this entire area could be, uh, I don't know, reinvigorated. Alright, heading back out into Disney's Hollywood Studios, technically. And I think I'm going to walk through Toy Story Land and probably Galaxy's Edge and then maybe end my day over at Runaway Railway. There's the Hollywood Brown Derby over here, which a likeliness of this is also at Universal Studios. And I think that I called it the, the, uh, the, the, the Brownwood Derby or something. I really butchered the name. But this is the Hollywood Brown Derby, and I've never eaten here, and it'll be really cool to eat here at some point. I don't think that I ever actually came to Disney MGM Studios, technically, but I do have a lot of great memories doing the Animation Academy back there, back when that was an activity to do, which is still sort of alive in, in different areas of the parks and resorts, so that's still fun to do, but I do miss it here a lot. So again, the goal is to try to get in line for Runaway Railway just right as the park closes. Just see if I have luck with that last minute timing. All right, I'm gonna back to Toy Story Land right as the sun is setting, which looks absolutely beautiful. Check out the wait times, and for whatever reason, Smuggler's Run has a longer wait than Rise of Resistance does. Isn't that weird? That's not normal. Still waiting on any progress from this barbecue restaurant here, which is supposed to open this year, I'm pretty sure. Right now is such a beautiful time to ride Slinky Dog Dash. Look at those clouds and the sunset behind it. The coast from here. Keep an eye out for that Slinky Dog. So beautiful. He's real fast. Lincoln, you'll miss him. Oh, I wish Slinky Dog would slow down. He's making me dizzy. Toy Story Mania is currently a 35 minute wait, but the park closes in about half an hour. So I have to be very particular with what I want to ride. And I think Ooh. I want them to be making these runaway railway. I considered having dinner at. Woody's lunchbox over here, so it looks like they're doing some construction over there that I saw the last time that I was here, but I decided to expand my palette and go to the ABC commissary. I don't have a ton of time to walk around the park because again, it does close in about half an hour, so hopefully I can wander through Toy Story Land and Galaxy's Edge and then make it back over to the Chinese Theater. Although Aliens Rolling Saucers does have a five minute wait right now, which is 
pretty incredible. I can literally see the end of the line over there. But I really want to do Runaway Railway. I guess it's fun. I love Runaway Railway. One of my favorite challenges that I've done on this channel, I've done a lot of theme park challenges, but one that was a lot of fun to do was I tried to find every single letter, every single block letter in Toy Story Land. And I originally did not succeed because there are a couple letters that are hidden and you can only see them when you're on Slinky Dog Dash, which really threw me off, but that was fun to do. It'd be fun to emulate some sort of a challenge like that for Galaxy's Edge, but I would have to think about it a little bit. It's a little bit more complicated in Batu here, I think, when it comes to creativity and just due to the crowd levels of the amount of people that are just here. Again, I'm sure some sort of a scavenger hunt is definitely possible with Galaxy's Edge. I would just have to really consider what I would have available to me to create some sort of a scavenger hunt, just something fun that I could just remotely do in Galaxy's Edge. As of now though, I have nothing, but hopefully I can make something up because those are my favorite types of theme park videos. I definitely spent a pretty significant amount of time in Galaxy's Edge at nighttime compared to other parks at night because of how beautiful it is. How could you not? I thought this was a line for Smuggler's Run, but I think it's just a line for a photo opportunity over here with PhotoPass. That's pretty cool. And then I think that this is the standby line for Ogus Cantina, which I found out that actually seats after the park is closed. One of these days, I hope to get a lightsaber. It's a very expensive purchase, and I know that it would just end up in my my film room, our film room that we have, just with a bunch of other trinkets that I probably don't need, but it's so cool. Of course, everybody's taking their lightsaber pictures over here behind the Millennium Falcon because it is now dark and those types of pictures are probably best to get at nighttime with the lightsaber. I am going to head to the marketplace here, the way over to Mickey Venus Runaway Railway. Maybe one day I'll actually buy something in the marketplace too, right? See, there's so much detail in Galaxy's Edge, I could definitely easily make some sort of a photo scavenger hunt, but I think that, that would be incredibly complicated to try to do that. That would be a little bit mean, probably. But I think right now I'm curious about the wait time of Rise of the Resistance because earlier it did not look that bad. I think it had like a 40 minute wait. I did get to ride Rise of the Resistance in the regular standby queue relatively recently and that was a very incredible experience. I like that a lot. Okay, it looks like it's posting a 55 minute wait, which isn't terrible. It's less than an hour. Actually, it looks like they closed the line. So there are still people in line. I don't know if it's for a technical downtime but there are still people in line over here. I can still see them, so they may have just reached their capacity for the day. Okay, so they just made an announcement saying that their missions have been delayed, but they are letting people in the line, so it looks like they are letting people get in line for Rise of the Resistance down to the last couple minutes of the park is open, which, speaking of that, I have about five minutes to head over to Runaway Railway. I was thinking about getting some sort of a dessert or a snack, but I guess I can consider the margarita some type of a snack, right? That works. It looks like Baseline Tap House is currently closed, and you can sort of see way over there. Red Carpet Dreams. I didn't want to go to Red Carpet Dreams today to meet Mickey or Minnie because I don't really like to do that by myself. I love characters, but I don't want to be that guy that just walks up to characters with a camera and just films himself by himself. I want to do that with Brennan. Okay, but it is down to the minute now to head over to Runaway Railway. So I'll just have to come back and we do this again at some point in the hopefully very near future because it's been overdue to meet some Mickey and Minnie at Hollywood Studios. Okay, and really coming down to the very final minutes here you can sort of see that right. The park is pretty much closed and I'm getting in line right now. Okay, so they're starting the wonderful world of Disney animation right now. I made it in line just barely in time. All right, so I'm in the very last group to experience Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway today. This is great. Oh, hiya, folks. Want to take a ride on the train? All right, heading into the cartoon. This is exciting. It looks like they took down the plexiglass here in the queue for Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. Okay, it looks like I'm going to be the very final guest on Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway today. I think. Maybe. Right? Nobody's behind me. So we're just going to be in the very final row as well. There were people behind me, but then in the pre-show room, I decided to go ahead and just let everybody go in front of me. Okay, so here I go in the very last row on Runaway Railway. There's another train right behind me. That's pretty cool.
Pretty cool to see that. And there goes the one that I was just on. And now exiting back out of the cartoon and back into the Chinese theater. How cool. All right, and I'm outside of the Chinese theater, which during the wonderful world of Disney animation, they put this scrim down in front of the marquee over there. That's why it wasn't illuminated. But I did it. I got to ride the community's Runaway Railway right before the park closed. So let's see if the marquee is back. And it is neat. And then there's also this that I noticed earlier. This facade is a recreation of the Chinese theater originally originally built in Hollywood, California in 1928. I don't know if I've ever showed that before, but that's pretty cool. It's probably going to be a fun trip back to the car because everyone is leaving right now. But I do appreciate that the Chinese theater right now is a combination of the marquee and of projections. That's actually really neat. And also the harmonious Epcot fireworks are going off behind me. You can sort of see the fireworks for Epcot off of the distance over there. Now you can definitely see them. That was pretty intense. I forgot how long that Harmonious was. It's a very long show. That was definitely a quicker trip to Hollywood Studios than I've done in kind of a while. I was really only here for about two and a half to three hours. But I did what I came here to do, which was just to have fun, ride a ride, and have some dinner. I presume that what I just saw was the finale for Harmonious because I haven't seen any fireworks after that collection of booms. But I'm heading back to the car after, again, a very quick but successful trip to Hollywood Studios today. Oh, no, maybe that was the finale for Harmonious. So thanks again for hanging out with me at Hollywood Studios today. I just came to the park and I ended up just walking around and eating at ABC Commissary and getting a margarita, which was delicious, and then going to ride Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which doesn't sound like quite a feat or an accomplishment, but it was a fun way to spend my day today after getting off of work a little bit earlier. So I worked earlier and then I decided to come to Hollywood Studios for the day just to spend my time here because I've been to every other Disney park recently. So I thought it was like a, I don't know, a nice way to just kind of put a cap on, on a on a me going to Disney uh, series, not a series, just like me going to Disney and, and vlogging it. I guess like solo trips to Disney. I've been doing like a lot of those recently, which those were a lot of fun, but I have some exciting videos coming up soon. I hope you'll stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and goodbye.